Uh, I, I've learned a lot. I believe that the debate, I've raised the level of debate in the many, many different uh, uh, venues that we participated in. Um, I know that the people of Connecticut have heard me loud and clear, uh, and I'm appreciative of that, of being able to have that experience. I think the system, it's wonderful. And I urge anyone, whether you have money, whether you don't have money, get involved, let your voice be heard, speak up. You have to participate in government to make government work for the people. And that's what I'm so proud to have been able to do. Now the question is, why am I supporting that? In that experience over the last seven months of working and listening, and that's probably the first thing I wanted to say, I am a listener. I listen to people before I make a decision. And I make a decision that benefits the majority. And with Ned Lamont, he is a listener. He listens intently to each and every comment made in every debate. And that's probably the most important thing and the single thing that I've been impressed with. And he'll come to me, and he, as he has in the past, and question, why did you say this? Why did you say that? What is your uh, background information on it? What does your research show? So there are issues that we need to change in the state of Connecticut that I believe have to be addressed, that Ned has listened to and understands, and I believe represents without a doubt the best opportunity for the people of Connecticut, A, to have their voices heard, and B, to have action that's going to result in benefiting all of us as taxpayers, as residents of this great state. He's the man that can turn this ship around and get us back on course. Okay. Now, um, real quick, let's talk a little bit about the Citizens' Elections Program. Um, I know one yes. of the reasons why you're out is be because of the money problem. What do you think are some of the problems are with the program itself? Well, we've certainly read about that. We know that uh, there's been a big effort to uh, to really reform the elections process in the state of Connecticut when it comes to financing. I'm supporting Ned Lamont because I know that he's all for reform. We all see that. Whether you're fortunate to have the ability to be able to self-fund, whether you're fortunate to be able to have qualified for uh, the state funding, the result is we need reform no matter which way you go. And the most important thing out of this for me is that the legislature has continued not to act on it. And, and that's where we need good, strong leadership to, to get, to herd the cats in Hartford, literally, and to be able to get them focused on what needs to be done for the state of Connecticut. And I believe Ned Lamont is the man to do that. All right, well look, Mr. Marconi, thank you very much for thank your time. You so I do appreciate for everything it. Thank you you do. All right, thanks a lot, take care. Yep, bye-bye. What does uh, Mr. Marconi's endorsement mean for you and your campaign? Well, Rudy and I, as we were saying, did many, many candidate forums together. And over that time, we got to know each other pretty well. And we generally talk policy on the way into the meeting and on the way out. And I really respect the courage that he has shown on taking on big issues when it comes to transportation, when it comes to towns like Ridgefield, the relationship between our towns and the state. And uh, I very much hope that Rudy will be there to help advise us as we go through this campaign. He's a very thoughtful and consistent policy person and a good friend. Great. Now, um, we're a little ways away from the convention. How are you feeling right now? How do you feel your campaign is holding up? Look, I think that um, Mary Glassman, you know, helps give us a fresh start, gives the Democratic team a fresh start. I think that's what people want, um, you know, when we get up to Hartford. I think uh, when it comes to that convention, we're working hard. We're calling the delegates. We're telling them why Glassman and Lamont give the state the best opportunity, give the Democrats the best opportunity to win, first of all, and more importantly, get Connecticut start winning again. So we're working hard. You know, probably a little uphill at the convention. I've never been the insider candidate. You remember that from four years ago, yes, Al. I do. <laughs> but um, we're going to go on. We win the primary. We get a Democrat elected in November, and we turn the state around. That's my promise to you. All right. Well, Ned, thank you very much. I'll see you at the convention. Al, it's always great to see you thank with you. your beautiful daughter. Thanks for bringing along not just Rudy, but Mark and Susan and the other folks to this team. It means a lot. And as Mary said, we get a chance to know each other pretty well. We've been going on these candidate forums. We've been traveling the state. We've been going to labor rallies. We've been going to business groups. We've gone to town committee groups. And it's sort of easy to reframe where you are. And that's not Rudy. I can tell you, he has been consistent. He has been courageous. And he has been thoughtful. And that's what you need in Connecticut. Yeah, I wouldn't mind if you spent a little more time up at Hartford as time goes on. Oh, this is pretty beautiful. I don't know why you ever want to leave at all. 
but that is what Rudy brought to this table. When it came to health care, when it came to energy, in particular transportation, in particular the relationship between the state and our towns and our cities, and how we can make that a better, more productive relationship, and how you can have as a governor or lieutenant governor, somebody who understands the towns and is your partner. We learned a lot, Rudy. I learned a lot just being with you, and I'm pleased to say that Rudy's going to be there helping to advise our team with sort of key policy initiatives as we go forward. And let me just say, when it comes to our towns and our cities, you probably heard that Mary and I were very pleased to get the endorsement of some of the big cities, um, big city mayors just in the last week or so. And there's sort of this, these false choices you get here in um, politics. You know, it's the city versus the towns. You know, that's nonsense. And I like to say, flat out, that what we need, you do need prosperous cities. You do need smart growth. You do need a transportation strategy and a hub. You do need great schools there. We don't need more sprawl. We don't need more gridlock. We don't need all that's beginning to eat up the open space in our open, in our towns like Ridgefield. That's what smart growth is all about. So I would argue to you that our towns and our cities are aligned and where we want this state to be over the next 10, 20 years. And that's what we're going to bring, Barry and I, when we get to Hartford. I'll just say, I am, we've had a lot of talk about lieutenant governors the last uh, you know, week or so. I could not be prouder to be here next to Barry Glassman, who's my wedding mate. She understands the towns, elected in her small town, elected overwhelmingly, elected in a Republican town. Rudy knows what that means. That's where the rubber meets the uh, road. That's how you work with people every day and you come up with honest solutions. She knows Hartford. Let's face it, I'm the outsider. I'm going to go up to Hartford. I'm going to shake things up. I wasn't afraid to shake things up four years ago. I took on, frankly, the Democratic establishment as well as the Republican establishment. You need somebody who's willing to go up and make those changes in Hartford. But with Rudy and Mary, we've got a winning team. We're going to win for Connecticut. We're going to get a Democrat back there in the governor's mansion. We're going to be fighting for our towns. We're going to be fighting for our cities. We're going to get this state moving again. We're going to get this state growing again. We're going to put people back to work. And most importantly, this is a team that will win, that will win, that will win, beat the Republicans in November, and get Connecticut winning again. Rudy, you're doing it. Bagels right up here in the right. court. Yay. Okay, so. <laughs> I know that's why you're here.